Hi, I'm Robert Alexander from iChem Labs, and this is the ChemDoodle Web Sketcher Shapes tutorial for ChemDoodle Web Sketcher version 5. There are a variety of 2D shapes which you can use in your Web Sketcher doodles. They can be used to denote reactions, ions, and various other things. Currently, there are three broad types of shape which you can create in Web Sketcher. The first type are lines and arrows. These include synthetic arrows, retrosynthetic arrows, resonance arrows, and equilibrium arrows. Each of these objects can be selected from the Shapes Group button and then placed on the drawing area by holding down left click where you want the line to begin, then dragging outwards until the green dotted line follows the pattern you want to create. Then, release the left click button to allow the shape to be created. Lines are placed at 30 degree inclines just like bonds. You can circumvent the 30 degree incline rule by using ALT to allow you to position the line at any angle, just like when placing bonds or rings. The next set of shapes are called pushers. A pusher describes the movement of electrons between atoms and bonds. When drawing a pusher, you must hover your mouse over an atom or bond. Left click and then drag your mouse over to the atom or bond you want the pusher to connect to. Release the mouse button once you see a green line connecting your two desired atoms or bonds. There are three types of pushers. The single electron pusher, the electron pair pusher, and the bond forming pusher. If you move any of the components in your figure, the pushers will update accordingly. The next type of shape is the bracket. A bracket graphically annotates a group of objects. Left click and drag out your bracket, just as with the other shapes. Before you release the mouse button, you will see a green dotted square area which denotes the area which the bracket will cover. Anything inside the green box will be perfectly positioned for annotation. Once the bracket is placed, you will see sets of up and down arrows on each side of the bracket. The arrows pointing upwards allow you to apply positive numbers to that side of the bracket, while the downwards pointing arrows allow you to apply negative numbers. The positive and negative buttons are interactive, which means clicking the negative number option when a positive number is already in place will simply reduce the positive number. The top right number is used to specify charge. The center left number is great for reactions when you need to specify multiplicity. And the bottom right number is a repeat count. It's typically used for polymers. If you want to select a shape in the drawing area, you can use the lasso tool to do so. Alternatively, you can use the lasso shapes tool, which will only select shapes that have been lassoed. The lasso shapes only tool does not select pushers, as they are connected to atoms and bonds. It only selects lines and brackets, as they are separate from atoms and bonds. This can be useful if you want to select just a shape when it is very close to another object, such as a molecule. With the lasso tool selected, you can also edit the sizing of lines and brackets. To do this, deselect any current selection. Then, hover your mouse near the corner of the object you want to resize. When the blue anchors appear, click on them and drag the shape into the new position and size you desire. If you wish, you can then select the opposite anchor point so as to completely remake your shape, like I have done with this bracket, which now contains completely different molecules inside it. Alternatively, if an anchor point appears on a shape you no longer want, simply press backspace to remove that shape, just as you would with a selected object.